What's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. All right. So today we have a couple topics, uh, but the video in general is we're going to do your average dude who gets away with having as many fish tanks and aquariums as I can. Um, it, I mean, this is literally, it's a storage room in the basement under the stairs. Yeah, we're literally under the stairs right now. That's the floor up there. Yeah. And literally, come over here, and that's the bottom of the stairs right there. Yeah, look at how it just gets darker and darker. Like, any moment right now, you can expect the bye-bye man to just pop out and eat us. And then right there is the stairs. Yeah. I mean, what, come on. We're what do we do when we hear mom coming? We, we hold the stairs up. We have to hold the stairs up. Otherwise, she knows this place exists, and then what do I do? All right. So, uh, give me one second. I do have a shout-out um, to Canine Feces. He gave me uh, an idea to talk about while Alex and then if my other son feels like it. Uh, point out some of our favorite tanks down here because all the big ones are down here and the fun ones. So, uh, give me a minute. All right, Av average dude with your average son and the uh, other average son who's like, I don't really care what's going on right now. Can I just, I want to go to bed. You can go to sleep right there if you want, man. I, yeah, there you go. Your neck's going to hurt though. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so th this was the very first one that got built in this tank. And you can watch the whole thing. Um, what do we, you know, get some. Uh, the black ones are black light tetras. And then there's some remaining guppies. Trust me, there were a lot. I, I It was a free-for-all. A guppy was born, it was like, you yeah. better, bro, you better hide because you've got like seconds. And then don't move for like three months. Yeah, because so, if because there's lots of babies right there, like there's a ba little. That one's baby. a juvenile now. He made it. He made it past like the first sixty day mark where he's he feels safe enough to be around some of these guys. Yeah, but but you know, still, I don't feed him for a couple of days. Even the juveniles, there's they start to come up for grabs, and, and there are some remaining shrimp in here too. Yes, and there's some snails. Yeah, there's always snails. You just. Uh, I've just accepted the fact there's going to be snails. If you really don't like snails, I think, you know, either you need to have really bad COD and just know to go through every day and pull them out, or just stop caring about snails. And, oh, uh, so what else? Which one's your favorite? Let's show, tell everyone your favorite. There's no wrong answer here. I like these two the most. You you like the, the pea puffer tank? Yeah, I also like the guppy tank. Let's yeah, see if we can them. trick the pea puffers into coming out. Can I try? Since you're holding the camera. Yeah, here. You pitch out a, a worm and let's hold it in there for them. There's no more worms up here. Okay. Here, you know what? We'll just do this. You know like how you can tell a dog fetch and it'll go and chase nothing? Yeah. So let's just stick this in here and see if they come. Oh, here's one. Oh, yep, there's one. Oh, right there. well, soup. And they're gone just like that if you're ever curious as to why fish in general can seem to move without using their fins it's because of their swim bladder their swim bladder helps them move up and down forwards without having to do anything except release or uh, suck in more gases into their belly this one Usually I set this up where it's easier to see. Oh, we're going to see you later, Adam? Yeah. All right, thanks for showing us your favorite tank, bro. Bye-bye. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, and uh, this one. Oh, there's a baby shrimp right there. Yeah, this is my second shrimp tank. The other one's upstairs. But this one, by far, it's out of control. And, and you know what? In a 10-gallon, it's hard to see them down here. They're Because they're, they're the same color as the substrate. But that's what I want. I want it to be like a Where's Waldo situation. <laughs> Yeah. Where's, There's like a picture where's right Waldo? here. Where's Waldo? Oh, hey, I found where's Waldo. Oh, and the oh, baby, ba the babies forget it. You want to find a baby? You got to like go way in close on a root and just stare at it for some, for a minute. And there's here, one right wait, there. I think there's one up here. Oh, yep. Wait, no, that's Oh, wait, silly. there's one. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, there's one. See, I'm, and I'm all the way zoomed in. At the, it's like a speck of dust. See, as you move away, it just vanishes. Where'd it go? Where's the baby? Who knows? I don't know. 
<laughs> it's and, like a ghost. And then in here, this is the second 40 gallon that I put together, which is, um, it doesn't have the same variety of plants as the other one, but lots of valicinaria. I threw away so much. And then a spot of just cryptocorns, uh, dragonstone. Uh, fun fact, just so you know, dragonstone does not affect your TDS for anyone who's out there. Right. I had someone actually tell me once, oh yeah, man, it'll jack your TDS up. And I was like, why? And he goes, because it's inert. I was like, okay, all right, well, that's the first and last time I'll ask you a question. Um, and then uh, some congenius growing from the top of this. Um, I've got kind of a jerry-rigged <laughs> spider wood. <clears throat> what kind of fish do we have in here, bro? Tetras right there. They're all Tetras. Oh, yeah. And then the orange ones? Are the ghost Tetras. Yeah, we, we just call those the ghost Tetras. Or, and these, or zombie Tetras. Yeah, these ones are the most cool. The one that you can see through. Because you can see literally... Yeah, you can see, see their through. guts. You can see right through them like a ghost. That's why you call them the ghost or zombie fish. Uh, and uh, canine feces wanted me to talk about... A rosette sword and I had two and yes I had to move it um, this is one and on a video I opened it it's the same exact one um, I think it's a great plant and that if you don't want to be fooled by buying miniature sword you know plants because even these sword compactors look at how big those are I mean it's it's taking up a huge section of this 40 gallon and I prefer smaller bunches of bushes like that's why I like crypts so much and that's what these are too these are some little crypts um, but yeah I mean it only one leaf melted and then it virtually stayed the same I, I feel I probably bought it full grown to be honest with you man Maybe. yeah and then down here this is a, a real uh, obviously you can tell there's a lot of tannins in here and I did that on purpose uh, these are gold skirt tetras. Some people have been telling me they think they're white. I know they're not white. White aren't this big, and when we're talking white, they are they are super white with really long skirts um, underneath them and much smaller bodies. These guys, I mean, they're like piranhas. Yeah. Uh, when you put a blood when you put a blood warrant in, they just go crazy like piranhas eating. Eat enough fish. It's the one tank I won't just stick my finger in there because I feel like I'll have nothing but a fingernail left if I do it. Like this. Yeah. And then finally the big one up here, an update on this, on these roots. They're growing really yeah. I mean, the roots are growing roots. It's digging my water. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I tried it with this. I don't think the name is appropriate, but it's called a weeping Jew. So this is the plant, um, like I said, I did not name this. We can just call it purple ivy if we'd like. And uh, I don't think I did this right. Uh, I feel like I, I should have waited for a spot to have some kind of a root. I don't know, if somebody knows, please say so in the comments. Um, but here it is here, and it definitely has a pile of roots. Like I said, I just started walking around the house, and I was like, you know, all of these are potential freebies. When this thing covers the entire top, it's going to be awesome. Um, and then that's the crypt carpet coming through like crazy. And if you're wondering what's on there, there's Osmocote. Don't touch Osmocote till you talk to me first. All right, thanks everyone for following us around on our tour and checking it out. We'll catch you next time. And if you have some questions, like, like I said, drop a question. We may make a whole video of it, but... Uh, I realized I hadn't done a fish room tour yet of just this room. There are more tanks around the house, but that would involve annoying, you know, my wife and his mom. And, and if you um, ask a question, we can always answer. Yeah, we can always answer your questions. Yeah, about yeah, fish. Yeah, and about plants. and plants. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask me what to do if your house would burst in the flames. Yeah. Just Oh, okay. Apparently, yes. If you have that problem, you can contact us, and we'll help you out. No, not not us. The fire department. Oh, right. The fire department. Yeah. I'm not going to come put it out. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a giant fire hose. 
It's not that I have that much patience to watch all these tanks grow. It's just that that's how slow I move. So, you know, by the time I get to the front door, um, six months has already passed. So. All right. Thanks again for everyone for watching. We appreciate all the new subscribers. We hope you have a fantastic day. What should they do if they're having a terrible day? Yeah, there you go. Dad, do something about it. Maybe yeah. it is. I don't know about video games. Yeah. I did that for a while. I'm not sure. No, those actually take me off. You get trapped and then you're stuck. You have to retry it like 20 times. Yeah, until you want to smash the remote. But fortunately for us, we're adults and we don't smash our remotes, right? Mm -hmm. That's never happened, not even once. No. Jaden, when he was playing Fortnite... We'll talk about Jaden another time. Okay. You guys have a fantastic night.